Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on the best of beauty in 2017. These are my all-time favorite products and I've been testing them each out throughout this year and I absolutely love them. Starting out with the primer, which is my favorite part, I like the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I always get the mini bottle of this because the big bottle is so huge and the mini one lasts me for like six months. Next primer is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I like this primer because it's a spray and I love sprays and it's so lightweight like you can't even feel it on your face. It just gives you so much moisture and makes your makeup go on a lot smoother. For eyebrows, I've been loving the Benefit Cabral and I'm in the shade number one. I like this product because it comes with the applicator and the applicator is so good. I was like super into the Anastasia pomade, but once I started using this, it's just so much more natural and easier to apply. I just got this product, but I can already tell it's going to be my favorite, and it's a brow gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's just the clear one. The, I think she has like tons of different shades of them, but I like this one because it really locks your brows into place, and I never was one to use a brow gel, but once I started using it, it really did change up the game of my eyebrows. I've tried so many foundations out this year and I finally found my favorite and it's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. I don't usually use it as a concealer but it just applies an amazing amount of coverage without looking too cakey. It just goes on your skin super nicely and my favorite part about it is the applicator and this is a doe foot applicator and it's just huge and it's so easy to apply. For concealers, I have two, and the first one is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer, and I'm in the shade Light. This is what it looks like. I use this product on a small brush to carve out my eyebrows, and it just makes them look extra fleeky, and it really cleans up them nicely. For the next concealer, it's the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm in the shade Fair, and this is the lightest shade. I use it for, um highlighting my face and I'm sure you've heard tons of YouTubers talk about it because it's literally everyone's favorite concealer. For cream contour, I love using the LA Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer and it's in the shade Fawn. I use this product because it's so easy to blend. I've tried so many cream contour products that are so hard to blend, you can't move them and they leave like lines, and this one just blends out to perfection. For baking powder, this was super hard. I love the Laura Mercier, but it's 40 bucks, and I found a better drugstore product that I enjoy a lot more, and it's the Cody Air Spun Powder. I get this in the shade Translucent. Most people get it in the shade Full Coverage because um, they have different undertones in them, but I really enjoy this color because I'm more of a red undertone and it really cancels that out. For an all-around face powder, I've been really into the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I'm in the shade Luminous Light. When you put it on, it's like a veil of like perfection going on your face. It's like shimmery, but not too shimmery. It just makes you look super dewy and like you have a nice glow. For blushes, I have two because one, I haven't been trying out a lot. I've used it like three times, but I know like it's going to be one of my favorites because I've never had a problem with it. And it's the Becca uh, Mineral Blush in the color Wild Honey. And this is what it looks like. It looks like a bronzer, but it just adds a warm glow to your face. The next blush that I've been using a lot this year is the Estee Lauder blush in the color Peach Passion and it's just a beautiful light pink color and it has some gold undertone in it. I use that blush whether I'm doing a glam look or an everyday natural look because the blush is just so universal and it works with every makeup look. For bronzer, I've been into the Hoola by Benefit Bronzer and I'm sure you've heard of this one as well because this is talked about a lot on YouTube and it's just a lighter bronzer. It's easy to blend and there are just so many good things I could say about it. For the next bronzer, if you're into more shimmery and more glowy looks like I am, um, I would so recommend this one and it's just the Milani Bake Blush and it's in the color Soleil. This bronzer looks super natural and it adds like a glow of gold and if you pair this with a gold highlighter, it just looks so good. I feel like highlighter blew up this year and I'm into the blinding highlights, but one of my favorites right now is the Brilliant Strobe Light by um, Hourglass. And this is what it looks like. 
It's just a natural skin tone color. I have it on today. It adds the perfect amount of light and glam that I want it to. For lip products, I've really been loving the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I love this product because it's the best lip plumper that I've ever tried. It stings a little bit, but after 10 minutes, your lips look huge. And if you want lip injections, I would definitely try this out first just to see what you would look like with them. The lip liner that I've been into a lot recently is the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Lip Liner. And it looks like this. I use the color Forever Bare, and it's just a perfect nude lip color. Throughout this year, I've only been using matte lipsticks. I can't really get into anything like glossy. So the one I've been loving is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Pure Hollywood. It's super creamy and it's the perfect matte lipstick. I use eyeliner on a rare occasion, but I would definitely recommend the Kat Von D Locket eyeliner. I think that's what it's called and it's in the color Trooper. I don't have it with me right now because I haven't been into eyeliner a lot. Just like certain occasions I'll put some on because I like to wear false lashes. For mascara, I've been reaching for the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara a lot this year. It's super volumizing and it coats every single lash. Last but not least, the product that I've been obsessed with this year is the Ardell Demi Wispies in Black. I have them on today if you can see them. And this is what the packaging looks like. For these eyelashes, I love them because they're fluttery, wispy. I do have to cut them to fit the shape of my eye, but it's so worth it because it makes any kind of look 110 times better. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're into seeing what I like and what I don't like, just leave me a comment down below on what kind of videos you would want to see about that. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I just want to say a big thank you to all the people who are watching and also the people who have messaged me about my channel and telling me how good I'm doing and everything. It just means so much to me and it keeps me motivated to make many more videos.